All right, I feel like uh, Dr. Frankenstein here because I get to show you my contraption in action. Uh, I did want to try to kind of space this out uh, over several days to kind of show you how my unfoil curler uh, trademark pending, the unfoil curler machine works. And uh, this is just uh, the kids' vitamins that I've rigged up with three sleeves. Probably could fit another on, but three is enough. Uh, I'm going to put three cards in. This is from a recent Commander Legends opening, uh, and these are all cards that I'd like to play, but unfortunately, the current state of them, uh, as you can see in the other video, this was pack fresh, just come out this bent, uh, just, you know, mm, just, actually, you can really tell when you put them together kind of like this, I mean, whoa, I may have just created a new kink there. So we're going to see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to put them in tonight, and I'm going to check back, and I'll show you guys in 24 hours uh, how well they look. And then another 24 hours, we'll see how much they have returned to the original curling. Victimize is in, and we'll put our three visits in. And lastly, we will put Jessica. So these will hopefully kind of unlearn the curvature Got to get it kind of tight here. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I mean, think of, it can't really get much worse than they are, right? I mean, even if this doesn't fix it completely, I, I doubt it'll make it worse. Uh, we will check back in 24 hours, and uh, I'll hopefully figure out how to edit all three of these cuts together. I've never done that before. I've only ever done, like, one-take videos. But this will take three takes because we'll have today. Put them in. Tomorrow we'll take them out, and then... The day after that, we'll see uh, how they've held up. All right, uh, we'll cue to uh, day two now. All right, we are here 24 hours later after we have uh, hitched up our foil uncurlerer uh, patent pending. So let's crack this open and see, uh, see how they look. And... Like I said, they can't get much worse than they were. Let's see who's first. I think Jessica was last one in, so first one out. And let's see how that looks. So it looks like it's, uh, yeah, it looks like it's straighter. Maybe a little wavy. Um, but I don't think this condition will stay anyways past 24 hours or so. What we're going to do is we're going to pack the, we're going to uh, take these out. And uh, we will look at these uh, tomorrow as well and just kind of see how the condition holds up. Uh, I would say, though, and actually let's get some out here uh, just for comparison. Because yesterday we were able to put these uh, back to back. Let's see, I think they were curled like this. Okay, well that's, uh, that's better. It's actually much better than yesterday. So let's see if uh, these hold up. Let's see if these kind of uh, <laughs> keep the lesson that we taught them from the, the contraption, the device. Uh, and we will check in 24 hours from now. Uh, cue the time advance now. All right, so we will bring tonight the saga of our contraption to a close. And uh, I guess if we were going to like do this all scientific method and if our hypothesis was that the foil uncurlerer the device the contraption would be successful in uncur uncurling um, our foils uh, I think we'd have to actually judge that we fail to accept that hypothesis because 24 hours after removing uh, the foil this is the condition that it's in and I'll go ahead and turn it where you can see kind of the three-dimensional it's better. It's better, but it's not perfect. Um, I, I do think it's playable with this curvature. I don't feel like a. <laughs> I don't feel like it's like a, a marked card or anything like that in deck. Um, this is one that's sleeved, and I mean it, it feels fine in the sleeve. There's still some curvature, um, but it's not a hundred percent improvement. I'd say that our our foil uncurlerer did about 30%, maybe 31% better. 
Uh, here's one that has not been treated in the device, uh, and then we'll put it kind of up with one that has, and I'll try to line them up, and you can kind of see that, I mean, it's not perfect. One is flatter than the other, if I can get it there. So Jessica, she, she got straightened out a little bit uh, versus no treatment at all in our lower seeker stone. So, I mean, is it worth doing? Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to play them in deck, it's worth, uh, taking a few days to straighten them out. Maybe if I leave it longer in here or gosh, I hate to use something that's got a, a smaller circumference. Uh, I, I mean, I hate to bend it more severe to me that that's pretty severely bent, but, uh, maybe leave in the comments if you've had better, luck with uh, maybe a smaller contraption, maybe some more severe curling would, would uh, have better effect. Uh, but yeah, here's the result of the mighty foil uncurler. Uh, not with a bang, with but with a whimper. Thank you.